how mouse and keyboard aim assist might not actually be a thing within Halo Infinite. The BXB looking to be patched in Halo Infinite, but will it make it for this flight? And your low screen is actually part of the campaign for Halo Infinite. You want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we just finished up day one of the flight. Got a chance to play some PvP, finally, of Halo Infinite. I uploaded some gameplay on the channel, guys, if you wanna check out how PvP really plays out. Is it super sweaty? Is it really fun? Is it casual? Is the game broken? Well, all that and yes and more. But in this video, what I want to talk about is all the discussion that's currently going on within the community about the flight, talking about aim assist, the BXB glitch and stuff like that. Various issues when it comes to downloading the game. And it looks like we have a preview of the campaign within the multiplayer as well. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within the algorithm of YouTube. And guys, if you want to catch up to date with everything going on with Halo as you ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So a big point of discussion that's currently going on with Halo Infinite is aim assist with mouse and keyboard. Right here, Snipe Down tweets this out saying, okay, Halo, I'm gonna need an explanation for this. And when you click on the video, you can kind of see how this player's aim, he's away from his keyboard right now, not playing, but you can see how obviously his reticle is being kind of aim assisted to keep on target here outside of red reticle ranges like basically halfway across the map, if not like three fourths of the way through across the map. So certainly a bit of concerning gameplay that's currently happening with Halo Infinite right here. And this sparked a lot of controversy. I mean, this video has almost 270,000 views on Twitter. So people certainly have taken notice of this. I and mean, Dr. Disrespect even mentioned this on his YouTube channel as well during the live stream. And like, did you guys see this tweet? This is really concerning and well, a 343 employee actually responded to this to help clarify any kind of issues. Sandbox lead at 343 Quinn Del Hoya, which you've mentioned previously on the channel, says, In this example, as soon as a player touches their mouse, aim assist is instantly disabled. Once mouse movement stops, it takes half a second to enable again. This does not come into effect during gameplay. So this is a really important clarification to make as I mean, I've been hearing a lot of people saying like, oh, there's aim assist with mouse and keyboard. And it's not exactly the case. I mean, like if you enable it within the settings, it seems like it will just kind of do this, which is kind of an odd setting to have. But from my experience playing mouse and keyboard on Halo Infinite during this flight, uh, there is no aim assist. It's, you know, basically your classic keyboard and mouse controls. They didn't really mess with that a whole lot. I think the biggest takeaway from this is to see something like this, which looks concerning, test it out for yourself and see if it does replicate rather than just instantly start sharing things around like, oh my God, Halo Infinite's broken. It might not actually be the case. Next, we actually currently have an update about the BXB glitch that's currently within Halo Infinite. If you guys do not know, basically, if you shoot one shot off your gun, you hit melee and also reload at the same time, you basically just spam it like crazy on your controller. You go through this crazy animation sequence where you can get like some really insane BXB kind of Halo 2 like button combos going and man, it is absolutely insane. This little video here on Twitter just really showcases how insane like the BXB really is in Halo Infinite. And this is definitely a glitch. This is not intended to be part of the gameplay experience. This will not make it within the build of the final release of the game. So enjoy it while you can because even Sketch actually replied to this video on Twitter saying that there was already a fix internally though he does say unlikely to be patched for the preview. Now, if he's talking about this weekend or if he's talking about this entire preview, not totally sure. My expectations was something like this, most likely the entirety of the preview that's this weekend and next weekend will probably have the BXB glitch currently in the game. So enjoy it while you can, guys. I certainly have. I've been playing around with it a ton because honestly, it's pretty fun to just do like this little BXB kind of glitch thing on people when they weren't expecting it. It's a really fun like, you know, Uno reversal card. Like, oh, you think you had the advantage? Gotcha. And also currently for all you guys who are like going to report this as a bug, don't worry, like 343 already knows all about this. So you don't have to worry about reporting the BXB glitch. Just 
enjoy it while you can enjoy the cheese and then once it's taken away be be happy that it's actually gone now i saw this brought up multiple times within my twitch live chat guys and also it seems like a lot of people are having this issue as well i've seen some content creators also have this issue where basically they went to go sign up and it seemed like well they either didn't get a key or the key was already invalid Apparently it was an issue with a 3000 series GPU for the Nvidia card. So guys, if you think like, oh, I didn't get my invite, I'm super mad. If you have like a super high end or super low end PC, it seems like Steam keys and various PC links have been sent out again. So definitely wanna go in and check out to make sure that you guys are eligible and able to jump in. I say make sure you jump in and check out your Halo Insider profile page. That's the best way to get your PC link or PC download code to get involved with this flight. That's what I actually had to do the first night. I was waiting and waiting and waiting for my email to come in, it never happened. I was waiting for my message on Halo Waypoint, it never happened. But then when I went to my Halo Insider page, that's where my download key was and I typed it in real quick, updated my game and they were able to play. But basically I'm just don't want you guys to get left out because playing Halo Infinite right now is honestly a ton of fun. And yeah, the community is a little bit more uh, high skilled right now just because of the type of people you're playing against right now. But trust me, playing Halo Infinite multiplayer is a ton of fun and I really like to see everyone get a chance to play as if they want to play it. Now throughout the flight I'm sure you guys have seen various load screens. This one in particular right here showcases just kind of like looks like to be like concept art with some capacity of just like you know this is what Halo Infinite Zeta Halo kind of looks like but this actually seems to be part of the campaign open world of Zeta Halo which if it looks like this Oh my God, I am really excited about playing Halo Infinite's campaign. Former developer at 343 here actually talks about saying, saw this beauty from the Halo Infinite stream today. The area to the left is the first level I designed during my time at Halo. It is awesome to see how it is looking and the team did a great job. So this whole section right here over to the left right here is an actual part of the game, like the campaign Zeta Halo area. And another previous 343 developer says, and I cleaned up the gameplay for this area as well. So this is like an actual piece of playable area for Zeta Halo, which is super cool. If you can have this kind of visual representation of like being on a Halo ring, dude, count me in i am way too excited about playing halo infinite because i first thought this was concept art but this is actually just like a, essentially just a screenshot from 343 saying like hey here's some more visual representations of what zeta halo is going to be like so oh my god dude so if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here I got a place to all my halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next one peace out